sand wedge. You could always start, if you don't have a great place to practice, you could do this in the backyard, put some sand down. It's not a big deal. Now I have a sand wedge in my hand. Would I play a bunker shot? How would I do that? Somebody asked from the crowd. Instead of putting that one ball across on that left foot there, would I put it right on the line? So ideally I would, I would be hitting it one, one inch fat. So when I come in to play that little bunker shot, instead of stepping across the line, I'll put it right on the line. All things being equal, the way I've trained myself, this would be perfect for a little fat, high bunker shot there. So I'm using the mathematics of my swing, very precise. I'm going right there. You'll see it on slow-mo. I'm not going to step across any. I'm going to almost step back. So now I'm, I, I pull my handle back so I can get this club under that ball. A lot of it's done. A lot of this is done with the setup. We talk a lot about the setup. If I was 40 yards short of the green and I try to hit it clean, very difficult shot, but it's still the same math. Got my foot in the line, I step across that ball. I might even step a ball and a half because I've got 58 degrees of loft here, meaning that I might, might really catch it clean and a little low to the right. So now, you'll see on the video, if you slow it, that was perfect. That wasn't that hard a shot. I'm not gonna go in the bunker and freak out. The advantage you have in the bunker is, this is probably the line right here. Got my line. I'm not gonna step across, I'm just gonna stay in that trough. Should be a decent angle right there. I'm gonna play a little, a little fat shot because I set it up to be a little fat shot. Sometimes when you come off the course, you don't know what happened, this is the best place to go see what happened. Even if I'm playing a, a you know, a 40 yard shot right here, I'm right in that, I'm right in the trough right here. Those are good right there. I'm gonna play that little 40 yard shot. That was perfect. Got the ball in the trough. Now I'm gonna back up a little bit. So I'm gonna hit it fat. Now the lie's pretty tight there, so I've gotta keep my weight forward so I can keep this wedge under. I kept it under so much I shanked it. I got no sand there, but that's okay. We're gonna work with it. That's what it's like in Australia playing at bunkers. Not stepping across, I'm gonna leave my feet in the trough. Keep that center of gravity back. That was nice, really nice. So, in review, talking about ball position, how it's set up, this is the quickest way I start every person that I work with in that bunker here. Load that club, I can feel that sand. Then I'm gonna store it. I'm gonna sit, a little side tilt, so I can use my momentum, pull myself through. And once you get, once you get that club out on this side, you're never gonna have any problem. This is good.